All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Um, actually, I actually just recorded a video, and it, apparently my OBS was like, no, you didn't record anything. So, uh, here we are. <laughs> but I wanted to make this video as a little catch-up, just to kind of say where I've been. Ooh, super cool. Okay. Um, kind of say where I've been, why I've been gone for, you know, the two or three months I have and just do a little update video unedited and everything for you all um the reason i've been gone for two to three months if i can just get right to the main point here is because of basically school um with college going um with work going and me about to find a, a second job um with the whole demonetization virus going on and then with everything at home happening and just everything combined kind of made me really busy and made me lose motivation and not get enough time to actually edit. Ooh. Um, I do love, you know, making videos and everything. I, I just, I couldn't really find the motivation to edit. So that's why I really haven't been putting up recently. Because I know I was kind of giving, getting into a groove of, like, uploading every, like... I, I would say maybe once or twice every week, um, and then I just kind of stopped for like two or three months, and again, that's mainly because of college, um, there's nothing I really could have done, it's just with all that, I really didn't have enough time or energy to kind of go and record videos, I, I just couldn't do it. With college now being over until I believe January 18th, um, as I said, I'm attempting to get a second job. And then college will be starting back up then. Um, I'm going to try to make time for editing. But it's going to be rough because I also stream on Twitch. Um, Twitch TV slash Sean123107. It's just as you see here, same picture, same username, everything. Um, but I also stream on Twitch. And with that, I mainly stream a lot there because I don't have to edit. I don't have to do anything. Everything's just there, you know? So it's really nice, and generally I will be streaming there from 9 p.m. Eastern um, to probably, I would say, 11 is generally when I start. Uh, sometimes, like tonight, will be different, because as of right now, uh, of recording, it is 11.41 on December 27th. So it's... <laughs> It's going to be a little bit later for streaming wise but generally i will have already started by now and i haven't started because well i'm recording this video um also in terms of streaming and editing i generally will, will uh edit what is that <laughs> um i'll generally edit later in the night and if i'm streaming i can't edit rx7 fc3 at what? This thing is wicked cool. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I want that. That thing is sick. <laughs> um, but as I said, um, generally I will edit later into the night, and I can't edit if I'm streaming. So streaming is, uh, I kind of have to split up streaming and editing, and maybe stream later if I plan on editing or find time to edit early in the day, but we'll have to see. Um, I don't know if you can tell everyone here watching but it might look a lot smoother and that's mainly for the fact that I actually went and upgraded my CPU uh, my CPU went from an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 the little AF version the 12 nanometer um, you know it was decent for what I did it wasn't really meant for what I was doing like video editing recording well I wouldn't really say recording it did all right for recording more streaming um, it was not meant for that at all, but it did its job. I, I can't argue with it. And again, I got it for like a hundred ish dollars. So I, I really can't argue with that CPU, especially since I got it brand new. It wasn't even used. It was brand new. Um, now I have the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and the difference is very noticeable. Um, GTA that I play is playing a lot smoother. Warzone plays a lot smoother. Car Mechanic Simulator, I basically j just hopped back into it since, you know, about, I would say, two months of not playing it. it it's a lot smoother. 
again, I haven't played it for a while, but I can already tell that it's a lot smoother. Um, recording and streaming is a lot smoother and better. Again, as I, uh, as I just kind of showed, there are little hiccups here and there. Like, um, I actually got VR, uh, and I also upgraded my RAM because I got it as a bundle with the VR. So now, I, instead of 16 gigs of RAM, I'm running 32 gigs of RAM. Um, but I also have VR now. Uh, I have the original CV1 Oculus Rift. I love it. The, the controllers are comfortable. Yes, it's, it has the wi it's wired into the PC, but the controllers on the original Rift are probably the most comfortable controllers out of any Oculus system. I don't care what anyone says. I've tried the, um, the Rift S, because if you don't know, the, the original Quest and the Rift S use the same controllers. Um, the Quest 2 is supposed to have better controllers, but from what I've heard and what I've seen on, like, YouTube about the reviews, they really aren't that much more comfortable. They're, they're more comfortable. They're no, it's noticeably better, but they're not as comfortable as the original Rift's controllers are. So, these controllers are comfortable. The headset I got for fairly cheap with RAM, I think I paid, like, $240 for the whole bundle. Which, when you consider, is a perfectly good working VR system with an extra 16 gigs of RAM, paying $240 for everything, shipping, tax included, is actually really good. That's a very good deal. So I wanted to say that, as, of, as I said earlier, it is December 27th. As of today, the CPU I got, I got for around $200 pre-owned because it was price gouged at around 250 300 As of right now, you can buy one brand new on Amazon for $200. If you're looking to get into the PC stuff and you need one built or what have you, I would definitely buy the Ryzen 3 600 for $200. Very worth it. Very good CPU. As you can tell, it's working very, 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 very well. And on top of all that, $200 for a, an extraordinary CPU is very good. Uh, most people say that this is one of the best CPUs for streaming, gaming, you know, just that sort of stuff overall. Um, you know, in terms of price to performance, it is one of the best. Um, there's a higher up CPU that I kind of wanted, which is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, which is considered the best bang for the buck, but that was another $100. And again, as a college student, I kind of need as much money as I can get. So I, I just went with the nice, you know, cheaper option, kept $100 to myself to use for college or what have you. And again, it's performing beautifully. I have no issues with it, but I did want to say that. Innovation. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'll probably, again, probably within a week or a week and a half, two weeks, I'll probably be back into the editing and you'll probably see regular uploads again. Um, once school starts up and everything again for the spring semester, it may start to go a little slower, but there should still be uploads. I will still upload. I'll make sure I still upload. Um, this semester as a first semester was really bad, um, and I didn't want to do any, like, editing and stuff because I want to see how it goes. And now that I kind of have, you know, my feet in the ground, I kind of have a hold on what, you know, what goes on and how everything works. I should be able to balance college with two jobs and then streaming and video editing with everything at home. I should be able to balance it all out in a certain way where I can still video edit at, you know, for a certain amount of time, maybe get a video up one video a week or one video every two weeks and then get her you know do everything else um when i get enough money like actually saved up i might be able to start paying you know someone to edit videos but as of right now i'm also not making any money on my youtube videos so again it's just kind of one of those things um but anyway that is basically the update um, I haven't been uploading because of college work and everything, but since most of that is done, at least for the time being, um, I will be getting back into it very, very soon. So I appreciate everyone watching. Hopefully you all have a great day. Stay safe out there.
this will be one of the next projects. Um, you may not see it. I don't think it's the next video I'll be putting up. I think it's the video after that. We'll be working on this. So here's a little sneak peek. So be ready for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope to see you all there. Uh, thank you all for listening. I do appreciate it. And again, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe.